Um, okay. Coming back post, like, talk with Jesus on the toilet for, like... Actually, no. If there's one thing about me, I shit quick. I get my business done. Get in, get out. I'm not going to sit there and struggle for... Ever. Really, ever. Like, that's just not something that I'm inclined to do whatsoever. Because I'm like, if my body's not feeling it, I'm not going to sit there and just, like... <laughs> like, that's just not something... Yeah, that's not something... Yeah. That's not an uphill battle that I feel inclined to partake in whatsoever. Um, yeah. Um, wait, what was I even about to say, though? Um, yeah, I feel like my biggest, like, one of my biggest things has been, like, keeping me from, like, stopping smoking has been, like, I'm afraid I'm going to be not receivable by people anymore. What the fuck? Real deal. Real deal. But also I realized like... I'm keeping myself from genuine and legitimate connections if I make it so that I'm not receivable. Or so if I make it so that I'm... Yeah. Like trying to be... Or putting myself in a state where I am more receivable. Because I feel like the thing is with weed is like whenever you smoke you don't have to try to be receivable like there's no facade it's literally just like automatic chill but like huh that's part of the reason that i quit because it's <laughs> like i started like mm. do we want to talk about this no yes oh my god am i gonna talk about this online no 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 mm. what the fuck Honestly, mine's low, but, um, actually, you know what? I'm cool off that because I want to look back at this and, um, and feel like a sense of solace, you know, by time I freeze because I, I, um, it's like low-key, like raw, so I'm like, I don't really want to discuss this at all, really, at all, um, if you know, type vibe, but, <laughs> I pray that none of my friends watch these videos because I'm like, you'll know if I'm talking about you. You'll know. If, and I don't mean talking about you like, oh, XYZ, like catty shit talk, XYZ. Because I don't, f two things, three things. I don't really shit talk um, unless there's like something extenuatingly terrible that the person did. And even then, whenever I'm talking about stuff that's unrelated from the thing that they did, I have to sit back with myself after the fact and be like, what the hell am I doing? Because at the end of the day, like, it does not matter all, like, any sort of quirk that somebody has, any XYZ that somebody has is literally just me voicing my insecurities with someone feeling more comfortable expressing themselves outside of convention. So, like, there is ever so literally no reason for me to, like, talk about something unrelated to the fact if it's like yeah because it also delegitimizes what i'm trying to say like i feel like if you have an issue with someone it doesn't have the same message whenever you literally just sit there shit on their whole entire existence rather than just being like you know what very legitimately they did xyz it did not make me feel well it did not make me feel good it literally was not like an enjoyable experience like all that whatever second thing second I don't have friends to shit talk with. Like, I don't really do any shit talking because, like, if I did, it would literally be to the kids that I babysit or to, like, my dad. Like, I don't know. Um, and then number three, it's like... Wait, what the fuck? Yeah, no, I think that's it. But, um... Wait, what the hell was that? Where did I even get that from, though? So... Oh, yeah, like, not in the sense that, like, I'm talking shit, but, like, in the sense that, like, um... In passing, like, people are just, like yeah going to be like mentioned um uh it sucks because i'm like uh this is like a gravely embarrassing moment for myself like this is definitely like an internally like rupturing experience you know um which is the biggest reason that i'm like oh yeah please don't watch this and actively think about any type of any type of anything you know <laughs> you know you know but back to the fact, my biggest thing is, like, I was very worried that, like, I would not be a receivable person anymore. And I feel like it's so nerve-wracking because, it's like, 
if you smoke yourself silly, even if it doesn't make you more receivable, it just makes you chill so that you don't give a fuck. And I feel like that's such an easy thing to retreat back to. But I'm also like, part of what made my childhood <clears throat> how it was, because I had an interesting childhood. There was a lot of bad with like family dynamics and with like social dynamics, but so much of it would have been differently played out if I was coming to that with my adult self. So that's why, like I was talking about in the last video, that's why I love the fact that now that I am, like, yeah, just like living life, like sober, X, Y, Z, um, for like at least a good amount of time until I build that trust back in myself that like I can smoke and not just like fall on it. Um, if I'm able to do that, then it just means that like I am able to live those like experiences and have those ups and downs but be able to approach them from ways that like are developmental and with narratives that I'm comfortable within and with not just immediately self-deprecating so I feel like um the biggest thing that's going to help me throughout that is going to be remembering trying to discern between if whatever comes up like say I embarrass myself socially happens way more than I'm willing to admit actually very willing to admit it happens at least like twice a day but um whenever it does I have to be able to use the new narratives or the ones that are like progressive that I've built rather than ones that I did in moments where I was feeling those emotions like as raw as they were like whenever I was a kid and that's like kind of the new and special experience that I have like I get to retrain myself like I get to parent myself into being gentle with myself and being kind with myself and I'm like what like that's so exciting like because that's all that I ever wanted whenever I was little all that I oh let me actually no let me go there if I cry um it happens I'm probably gonna stop the video because that's like very intimate like a little too intimate for my likes well for right now I don't really know um but that's ever so literally all I ever wanted. I feel like I wouldn't have ever touched weed if I felt like I was enough as a kid, but I'm realizing now I am enough. Ooh, I am, oh wait, <laughs> gotta end the video. This thing's fucking up, what the hell?